Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and as requested, we're going to be looking at the Dota 2 Reborn benchmark this time around. Windows 10 Pro against Ubuntu 15.04, both 64 bit systems. I'm running the 64 bit version of the game on both systems. Now I'm running, it's going to be running DX11 on Windows and OpenGL 3.3 Core Profile on Ubuntu. I'm using the absolute latest NVIDIA drivers, which are the 355.11 for Ubuntu and 355.82 for Windows. So let's go ahead and see the results. So starting off the bat we're going with 720p at minimum settings and we're seeing on average a 49 frames per second difference with Ubuntu leading which is pretty darn large and pretty surprising as well. So when we crank everything up at 720p to the max we are seeing a 33 frames per second difference, a decrease but still in favor of Ubuntu. So now that we're going to go ahead and jump it to the max that I can do which is 1080p so we'll start off with minimum settings at 1080p and we're seeing on average a 53 frames per second difference with Ubuntu once again in the lead and when we really crank everything up to the top 1080p everything full we're going to be seeing on average 36 frames per second difference with Ubuntu once again in the lead which is pretty darn astounding so here's where you get to see it for yourself in real time running. On the left is Ubuntu 15.04 and on the right is Windows 10. I'm using Fraps on Windows and JLX OSD on Ubuntu for the OSDs respectively. So we're seeing a rather large difference here with it being anywhere from 30 frames per second difference to 50 frames per second difference. And it's pretty heavy. Now I do provide the .dem file, the demo file, in the description below if you'd like to try it for yourself. Now you'll notice that the Windows side does hang and it, it actually makes it a bit harder for me to try and keep the video synchronized. I did record the Windows side a couple of times and it's still uh, hanged every time at the same spot so I'm not sure what's wrong there. Regardless, this is higher than the frame rates I would get if I went to the default the Windows default for Dota 2 Reborn is 32-bit with DirectX 9. Now I did not want to limit it to that so I used the 64-bit version and I ran it with the DX11 parameter so that we are pushing both sides to the maximum capability of the respective games. And the performance difference is pretty astounding here. I, I have to say this is a big improvement for the Linux side, but it definitely seems to be it's a big, big solid. con for the Windows side. Would you call it a con? No, pros and cons, I guess. I'm pretty sure that the AMD and Intel performance would be quite different if we were to try them. Hopefully later on I can try an AMD card if I can get this up and running again. Now I had previously tried to do this benchmark quite a number of times before and the game wasn't stable on either platform but it's finally reached the point where it's stable enough that I can do this test properly on both platforms. So if you don't believe the numbers yourself you are always welcome to try it yourself. My card and my uh, hardware does not represent the entire world, it's impossible to do so but the tests do give you an idea of what can be achieved with this game currently on each platform and it's pretty darn awesome that the Linux side is receiving such nice frame rates whether it's due to the Nvidia drivers or Source 2 I'm unsure. Alright summary time so this is the first Source 2 engine game that we have available both on any platform really and it's on Linux and Windows right now I believe there is a Mac version I'm unsure about that I didn't actually check that so this will set a precedent for any future Source 2 games like Left 4 Dead 3 or Half-Life 3 Okay, so the performance is actually really good this time around. The Ubuntu version, all-rounder, etched out and beat Windows through all the tests that I've done. 720p minimum, 720p max, 1080p minimum, 1080p max. All the time, it was a consistent uh, average that beat the Windows performance all around. So if you're playing Dota 2 Reborn, I highly suggest giving it a try on Ubuntu or a Linux distribution of your choice if you're running on NVIDIA hardware. That is to say, if you're running on AMD or Intel, I'm pretty sure the performance is different there. One thing else, one other thing to note is that it's running on an OpenGL 3.3 core profile, and I think this has to do with Intel 
holding all of us back. It could be an OpenGL 4 if they wanted to, but because the Intel driver is still stuck in OpenGL 3 land, we are stuck there as well. So it's, I really hope that Intel does something about that soon enough. They got OpenGL 4.2 support if I'm not wrong, but they don't have either it was 4.0 or 4.1, and I don't know what's taking them. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, I hope you got something beneficial for this. Uh, please leave any constructive criticism in the comments, any mistakes that I've made, please let me know. I apologize in advance for anything like that, and thank you for watching.